Is it that we're not making enough money? Or is it that Americans have a spending problem? Let's get into it. But first, let's make Graham Stephan proud and make some coffee. Now hear me out. I'm gonna use myself as an example. Okay, I don't wanna piss anybody off, not that I actually care. But what I mean by Americans having a spending problem and not an income problem is for most of my life, I've worked, you know, blue collar jobs, jobs that don't make me the most amount of money, right? You know, $11 an hour up to $23 an hour, $24 an hour, right? Working two jobs, right? I mean, at one point, you know, working a job for 23 something an hour and then, an and then another job making 18, 19 dollars an hour combined, right? 80 hours a week. Now, what I'm saying is I could easily live off of one income and live a pretty comfortable life. And I know you're going to say like, oh, well, this, that. Listen, I don't believe in excuses. All right. We control where we are in our life. Statistically, most people live paycheck to paycheck. There's a lot of apps and a lot of like payment plan things where you can get like portions of your check every single day that you work. So like you get like $150 a day or whatever it is. So like you're working and then you get a percentage, like most of the money and then as payday comes on your main paycheck, you get like a substantially smaller paycheck. But because people need that money then, they need their money now right? because they are not financially literate enough to save money, do the correct things they end up being behind and then they put themselves in this in this uh, this situation where they're continually behind and behind so that they need to do that every single week, month to get by. I lived on my own, right? I had an apartment of my own. I was paying $600 a month in, for a studio apartment and rent that I had previously with an ex-girlfriend. We were splitting and then she moved out and then I was living there by myself, paying all the bills myself. And I was, making only like like $20 an hour at a job I was working and I was I was completely able to live comfortably not even working a second job and I live in upstate New York right now am I going to be eating steaks every day no but like and I was not getting any financial assistance I was getting no, no food stamps nothing like that I was going to work working taking my paycheck and dividing it accordingly to what I needed and then living below my means a lot of people have new cars and new this and new that, new this, which is fine if you have the credit score that allows you to have a good rate that doesn't, you know, destroy you in interest. A lot of people do it the wrong way. A lot of people don't even know what credit score is nowadays, and it's crazy. It is crazy. Americans, young Americans, you know, millennials and, and Gen Zs, they are illiterate. They're financially illiterate. They don't know their asshole from their elbows. Sorry, YouTube, I'm sure you'll love that one. We have not taught, we, we have not been taught. Me personally, I've always been obsessed with finances and money. So I learned, I went on my way to learn. I went and I did financial math in school. When I was in high school, I took financial math and business math and learned how to write out checks and learned the importance of credit score. And then on my own time, watching people like Graham Stephan or Alex Hermosi or, you know, people that financially are competent in some way. Ty Lopez, when he was first starting, I was watching him. People that make money, understand money, understand how the world works. Um, Robert Kiyosaki, the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, amazing book. You should read it. It's my one of my favorite books of all time behind Atomic Habits. Those two books, Rich Dad, Poor Dad and Atomic Habits by James Clear. I'm pretty sure that's what his name was great books and I've read them multiple times probably two three times each if you are wise with your money and you look at it a lot of people don't even want to look at the problem you have to you have to pay attention to your spending you have to notice it to know if there's a problem or not people are afraid of seeing a problem so they'll avoid it right that goes to accountability like if you see the issue 
and you don't take action on it, then you're the problem. I'm not saying that times haven't gotten worse with inflation and all this stuff, but this stuff's always been around. And it's always been creeping up to a point where it gets exponentially crazy. It's always been like that. Not to this degree, but you sh like if you don't have a grand in your bank account, if you're that like far lost that you don't even have a grand saved, I mean, I'm going through a spine injury and I have 10K just put aside to chill. Like, I mean, I'm fine because I have that money. Like, I, like people should be panicking. Like, how do you not understand that, like, your money's not just going to magically appear in your bank account? You know, like, it's just not going to ma- Like, if you go to the clubs and to the store and buy all kinds of extravagant shit all the time that you don't need and you know that you don't need it, but you want it because you're comfortable, because you're familiar with it, because you've been doing it all that time, you're setting yourself up for failure. Americans have a spending problem, not an income problem. If I can live off of 20, 30 grand a year for the last however many years before I start making more money and be comfortable and fine and then make more money and then I'm just saving more money and I'm living the same lifestyle, then it is a spending problem, not an income problem. Sorry, I don't know who needed to hear this, but now you heard it. I'm a 25 year old man living in the most democratic state in America, upstate New York, and I'm financially able to pay all my bills and live comfortably, making $23 an hour. Not even I'm not even making any money right now because I'm injured and out of work because of a motorcycle accident. And yet I'm still financially all right because I put myself in a position to be all right. And you have the ability to do it too. You might be further behind, which just means you have to work harder to dig yourself out of that hole. Like I did. You have a limited amount of time. Money's not everything, but it is a very important part. And Americans are failing because we are living above our means. We're trying to keep up with the Joneses and it's not it's not conducive to good financial health. I don't know who needed to hear this. Just a little rant, a little tangent, because I've seen it. I've seen where people complain about money. I haven't, I can't remember the last time I had less than a thousand dollars in my bank account. Like, like I like I genuinely can't remember because I refuse to be broker than a certain amount of money. I refuse. And you should be the same way and act accordingly. So if you guys like this kind of video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, this is not financial advice. This is just maybe like a wake up call. So I hope you like it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.